Let's start by boiling up our potatoes. So I'm just gonna add these to a pot of water. This is just a couple of white potatoes. Put them cubed up fairly small. The smaller you cube them, the faster they boil. And just let these boil away for about 12 or 15 minutes. So while these potatoes are boiling up, let's work on our sausage. What I have here are some bangers, and you pick these up in any grocery store. They're just uh, pork sausage. And you can use, you know, Italian, uh, beef, lamb, whatever you have on hand. And I'm just gonna poke a few holes in this just to release any air or juices. Interesting little story, this recipe was developed around 1812 when meat was at a shortage. So what they did, they put a lot of water in it, and sometimes when they cooked them, they would explode with a bang, and that's why they called them bangers. Bit of trivia for you. Next up, we'll add a good knob of butter to a preheated pan. It's about a tablespoon or so. A Little bit of olive oil, this just keeps the butter from burning. In with our bangers, bang. And we'll just let these fry up nicely on each side until they're beautifully browned. After about seven, eight minutes, the sausage are done. That's about four minutes on each side. So I am just going to set these guys aside on a plate. Now in the same pan, I'm gonna add in a red onion. They're kind of ringed up. You don't want to touch this pan, all kinds of wonderful flavors happening here. And I'm gonna stir and cook this over medium heat, just about to the point where the onions just about begin to caramelize. And the trick is to keep stirring this. Now the onion is cooked down and softened up. I'm gonna add in three cloves of chopped garlic. Love me garlic. And we'll just cook this up, saute this for a minute or so, just until it's fragrant. Now in we go with two tablespoons of flour. And we're gonna give this a minute or so just to cook off. Add in a cup and a half of beef broth. And to make this, I use this stuff. It's uh, made by Knorr, it's uh, a bovril, and it really works well. It makes a wonderful, rich, dark gravy. But you know, you just use beef cubes or whatever you like, whatever you have on hand. Add in half our stock. Give this a stir and we're just kind of making a slurry here. And once that thickens up, I'm gonna add in the other half the sauce. Or the broth, I should say. And we'll just bring this to a boil. Add in about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. About uh, half a teaspoon of salt. And about a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And we'll just stir this and boil it just until it thickens up. But this is smelling so, so good, guys. Wow. And just look at this, my friends. Wonderful, wonderful onion gravy. All right, for our final step, the potatoes are done. So we're just going to go ahead and mash these up. And I always do mine by adding in a good knob of butter, some about a tablespoon, a tablespoon or two of milk, you know, depending on how creamy you want it, some salt, ground black pepper, and I always add in a dusting of garlic powder. It might seem weird, but it makes it taste so good. And we'll go ahead and mash these up until they're nice and creamy. And sometimes I even put in a few chives or uh, green onions and make like a champ. My mother used to do that. Oh, it was so good, but I won't do that today. Oh, these are nice and creamy. Coming right along, I'm gonna add just a touch more milk, just a splash. And just have a look at this, guys. Wow, oh, that's gonna be so good. I love me mashed potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna plate this up with some peas on the side. Couple of good scoops of those mashed potatoes. Some of those juicy bangers over the top. Okay, and some of that incredibly delicious onion gravy over the top. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this just smells incredible. Mm. 
And just look at this, guys. The gravy just smothered on the potatoes. I mean, absolute deliciousness. Oh, just look at this, my friends. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Once again, a bangers and mash cheers. Mmm. Wow. Comfort food at its best and budget friendly. It doesn't get much better. Mmm.